Oh, we're in the third trimester. I'm actually getting close now to being 30 weeks pregnant, so it's been quite a while since I last updated you. A lot has changed, actually. I feel like when I hit 28 weeks, suddenly there was this switch and I went from being mildly uncomfortable to being a complete and total mess. I think this pregnancy is definitely so much harder than my pregnancy with Jacob and many people are now telling me that the second pregnancy is always much harder <laughs> and I'm like oh great thanks for telling me now. Um, I knew it was going to be difficult having Jacob to manage while being pregnant but I feel bigger, I'm heavier, my, my body just isn't coping in the same way as it did with Jacob. I'm, I'm definitely not as fit or strong as I was so that's probably play, playing a big role as well. I think the main issues have been this kind of trapped nerve sensation in my pelvis and in my back. It does switch sides occasionally um, but I find that with a lot of activity, I say a lot, watering the garden, walking up the stairs, just being more active and not so sedate will mean at some point later in the day I will take a step and I'll get this like trapped nerve sensation in my like lower back which sometimes runs down through my leg as if it's like a sciatic pain. Sometimes it's just a discomfort across my pelvis. Yeah, it's just not fun. And um, so I went to see an osteopath, which was great for a few days after he treated me. And he did give me a couple of exercises to try and loosen up some of the tightness that has crept into my hips. Um, but who has the time to do exercise? I'm really bad at being disciplined at the moment. Sitting down and working a lot at my desk as well, which isn't helping. But I'm just struggling in general. Sleep-wise, if I lie on my in my right-hand side, I definitely feel like my liver is being crushed. I feel like someone's standing on my throat. If I lie on my back, I get the palpitations and I can't breathe. If I have to lie on my left but I wake up with numb fingers and numb hands in the middle of the night, like my circulation is just cut off completely. And we have a heat wave again. We keep having these little two, three day heat waves, which is just dire because in our house, um, especially with the conservatory at the back, which is lots of glass, like a greenhouse, it means that in the house it's about 33 to 36 degrees on these really hot days, which is not fun. It's, <laughs> it's not all doom and gloom. Um, the baby has been moving a lot. It's so lovely to feel him kicking and reacting to sounds, uh, reacting to, to daddy kind of poking around and talking to the bump, that's really sweet. And reassuring as well. He started to shift in this last week actually from kicking me mostly on the sides to kicking me up in the ribs or, and down there. So he's, it definitely feels like he's shifting into the right position now. In terms of preparations, we've done nothing. This is my cutoff week. So when we hit week 30, I said, now I need to start doing my meditation, ready for my hypnobirthing. I need to pack a bag in case I have to go to hospital. I need to get everything ready for the home birth. I've ordered and paid for my pool. So the birthing pool I'll have for the home birth is paid for and sorted. That's the only thing I've done. So I need to not make the same mistake I made with Jacob and keep waiting and saying, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I need to get organised, get it sorted. And we need to get the baby clothes down from the attic and things like that. So there is this pressure building of things need to move quickly because it's not long. I think the sweetest thing is uh, Jacob now. We have been saying to him for ages about mummy's got a baby in her tummy and he's so young we didn't think that he understood but now I think he kind of gets it. We bought a couple of books, um, one's called mummy's got a baby in her tummy and the other one's called big brother and he will read the book and look at my tummy and he strokes my stomach, it's so sweet. He lifts up my top to reveal the bump and he'll stroke the bump and be really gentle with the bump. 
We keep saying, there's a baby in there, there's a baby in there. I think he gets it. Either that or he just enjoys pressing my belly button, <laughs> especially now because it's so far out. He thinks it's funny. Anyway, hopefully that kind of sweetness and gentle nature that he has with me and my bump at the moment will continue when the next one arrives and he'll be a nice big brother. I'm sure he will be. I've definitely got to the point now as well, especially with the hot weather, um, of having irritated boobs. Um, I had to buy another bra. So I, I've been using my nursing bras from when I was pregnant with Jacob, which are big, and they don't fit. Like they, they're getting so tight around, around my chest. I felt like I was being crushed. And so I had to go another size up. So a bigger size on the chest. And I decided not to go down a cup size, but to stay the same cup size and go larger on the chest. And that was definitely the right decision because even that new bra that's come feels a little bit tight and my boobs still have some way to go. My milk still has to come in. So I know, <laughs> yeah, the bra is, is gonna be an issue. I've actually gone a few days recently, especially in the hot weather without wearing a bra at all because I just feel so restricted with these with these bras on. Um, and the under boob sweat, oh. I mean, those of you, you, you big bosomed ladies will know what I mean when I talk about under boob sweat. It's just horrendous. You just need like a platform that you can rest your boobs on and then a fan blowing underneath <laughs> to stop that skin getting like heat rash and irritated. Ah, oh, the joys. What we go through, eh? I can't see my bits anymore, so... <laughs> just tell you all about it I can't so I can't shave with any accuracy um, so and I'm not visiting the salon because it's not that easy with the whole coronavirus so I'm not um, not very well kept at the moment you know <laughs> and my legs as well I'm not really shaving my legs much at the moment either because you know balancing up on with your leg up on the shower wall and playing my razors when you've got a huge bump and everything yeah it's just not worth it really so this is where I'm at. I'm very hairy. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm uncomfortable. I'm nervous. I haven't got anything done. This is the third trimester. Uh, I hope that your pregnancies are all going well and that you're enjoying the heat waves, enjoying the beaches, having a nice time. <laughs> I'm just hiding in a shady room and uh, putting ice under my boobs. So great. Okay, so that's my uh, third trimester update. Oh, let me just quickly show you my bump. Big old bump. I can't lift my dress up and show you because I don't have anything on my bottom half. Apart from knickers, of course. Um, but yeah, it's big. It's big, it's very forward. <laughs> and uh, da 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 da. Great. I'll see you guys in another vlog. Bye.